not putting too much burden on the volunteers. That's too complicated. Yeah. It's easier and, and seems to be not a problem for anybody. The people who have more people in their family aren't complaining. Yeah. The people who have less aren't complaining. Nobody's complaining. 25 boxes on the thing with labels and yeah. out. Simple. Well, he brought it up. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm just yeah, trying to find a middle ground here. Right you know? The point is, I, I don't want to, I'm worn out. I don't want to wear you guys out. Well, look, what would wear me out, that would wear me out. If I had to actually determine yeah. how much in each box, it's easier to just got 20, 25 boxes, fill them, and another, them out. Another thing comes up is that of, instead of uh, filling them by family, mm -hmm. you fill them by individuals. So each individual gets a certain right, but again, the amount the amount of the logistical fact it is that problem. you saw how we did it today. Fortunately, when we had an excess food, we just started putting it in the box yeah. and it worked. No, but if it. we had to sit there and count yeah. tomatoes, I'd have, go, I'd have left. No, but this <laughs> is, we have to report this by the number of families, number of people we serve. Right, 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 right. And I have to ch chuppy that thing around and make it reasonable. Well, no, the numbers, the numbers, there. the numbers are on the list. That's all that matters. And then the type of family. Some of the kids, some are uh, young right. adults. Right, right. right. Well, we have we have almost all adults. But the point is, the, 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 the reality is yeah. th that we we are handing out boxes of food that are more than adequate. Some people may oh, share. Yeah. Some people may have more in their family. Some may have a little less in their family. If the people who had more in their family yeah. were getting a raw deal, if we were if these boxes were really not enough for them, yeah, that, that's nobody, okay. Nobody, right, right, yeah. and 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 therefore the ones who have too much food may be giving it out, or maybe they're just going to get fat because we gave them too much food. I'm not worried about it, you know. <laughs> you know, I mean, again, it would definitely it would be. I'm, I'm an upholsterer, okay, yeah. and I have I charge X amount of dollars for a chair and a solid color fabric. Somebody hands me a fabric with a pattern that I have to match. Now, you're an engineer. Think about it. I have to do engineering. I have to match the pattern on the back, the seat, the cushion. You're, it's four times the work to match it than it is to do it the solid. Four times the material. And I can't, exactly, but I can't charge four times the labor. And that's the problem. I get the same labor for a solid. It's just the industry standard. So the problem is I only pray that some, I get solids occasionally. I get the others, and I have to balance off in terms of what I make. That's reality. So the same thing here. If I had to sit and actually determine how many oranges this guy gets and how many oranges that guy gets, that would quadruple the amount of labor here, and then I would be on his side. It's too much work. Yeah. So the way we're doing it works. Yeah, you're right. I you know, it, it just makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so. And then on the other hand, I'm looking at when, like eggplants come in. They throw a whole package of eggplants. They want one right, egg right, right. So I say, take the trouble, cut, cut it. Right, 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 right. We, 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 we all have our own senses of, 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 of logic and our own senses yeah. of, of economy. Yeah. And, and we, we, we need to have that come into play too. You know, we don't want yeah. to be excessive or silly right, or wanton you, about it, you know. Yeah. But we also have to be practical. Yeah, but I think you have to have faith in the judgment of the volunteers. Right, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. So, so right now, we just served a lot of nice food to a lot of people, whether or not they would starve without us is not our issue. They, we, by the virtue of their coming in here, they qualified. Somehow along the way, they qualified. If they didn't need it, they wouldn't be here. Right, it's like the same Who's idea. Come How many times do you stand on a street corner asking for spare change? You don't do it. No. You could, you could make money doing it, but you don't. Now, the guy who does it must have a reason. He needs it. He yeah, they need it. exactly. People show up here for food. My mother-in-law was getting the box. She decided she didn't need it, so she said, forget it. I said, fine. Yeah. Sit and done. She tried it for a while, she, and then she started picking through the stuff. And I said, "Look, if you're going to pick through it, then what's the point?" Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know? So she I said, "So she said, you're right. Forget it." But well, you know, it. like Bernd Simon and his wife were getting uh, food once a week from I don't know whether it wasn't food share, but it, yeah, uh, delivered packages. Delivered. Yeah, now, if you guys are giving out gasoline, I will sign up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but they they decided they didn't want it. They didn't need it. There you so go. Got rid of it. People are generally, it's nice to know, I'll be generally honest. Yes, right. Exactly. Exactly. I don't think the same thing will happen with gas, though. <laughs> we'll be shooting each other for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, you're all doing a beautiful job. Well, we, you all, we all. This, this is entirely a consensus operation. I tell no, you no, there's leaders. Well, you're one of them. Uh, well, as far as what I decide, here's the point. i got to be your backup. Yeah, yeah. You are the, you know, second to him, you are the senior here, correct? Well, I mean, we don't go by age. We go but, by but this is traditionally a a senior brother, senior members of the brotherhood traditionally take this operation, right? Is that right? Traditionally, they w wasn't part of the brotherhood until we, we, we told the brotherhood to take it over. Okay. You want history on that? Please tell me. 
The Jewish Family Service had this responsibility. Okay. Harry, uh, Lester asked him to do it, I guess. They took it, because of how they budget, stuff like that. Who did they hire? Who did they get? You know, the brotherhood members, members like myself. Uh -huh. know, not necessarily brotherhood members. So we were, we were the volunteers. Okay. So they had it. So they gave you know, you heard the story. No. So we, the the uh, Jewish Family Service was meeting in that room. And we would use this as a parking spot on Tuesday, so there's an argument developed between two of our members and, and one of the guys who was a counselor about parking there. And, and they were almost kind of fist fights. Children! Oh my god. And uh, so we said, this got to stop. So we asked the brother, and we take it over. And said, yeah, sure. So the brother took it over. But no, it's not. the brother took it over. Then we went to, to uh, the Federation. And the Lord of Grand. Mm -hmm. They were getting that from the Federation too before, I assume, whatever it is, plus other things that they get. Uh -huh. They're more of a sort of a uh, give psychiatric attention to people. They're not concerned about feeding them. Right. Yeah. right, right. So, uh, so we got it, and we inherited it. So it's How many years have you had it? It must be about 18 by now. I don't know. Wow. Well, you know, so if you broke, don't fix it. It's working. I mean, it's fine. It's, it's yeah, but see, it's not a question of seniority and age. <laughs> but I'm just saying, traditionally, no, willing to step up, and have it. They're going to have it. Traditionally, yeah. it has been a senior member of the maybe by virtue of the fact that you know retired people have the time to do it hypothetically. Well, except yeah. I'm self-employed, so I can you know juggle yeah. my time. Flexible. But but but, hypoth but generally speaking, not by rule, but by tradition, it has been a senior member. So rather than break the tradition, I think that you should be the titular head, yeah. and I should be the functional sidekick. Yeah. You know, That's what I let think. Let me explain my Leave problem. out the U L A R. Let me explain how I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always say you're the tits, man. Harry, Harry. 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 <laughs> you're filming as well. You'll, you'll teach him everything you know, right? Oh, I'm, he's my guru. He's yeah. my guru you know, in more ways than one. You have to understand, <laughs> Harry Rosenberg, accept the responsibility. Yeah. I was his underling. So you I was there. I was there. He was the, the talkative guy. Uh -huh. Irritate the hell out of him. He's a schmoozer from the word go. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. Yes. And I'm, I'm all business. Uh -huh. what, what, did so, huh? what did he used to sell? Huh? What did Harry used to sell? He sold uh, scar sore stuff. Uh, like scars. Oh, wow. Classic. Classic. Yeah. <laughs> he was the that experience. But the point is, I go, I go into, into boots here and I shudder to he talk loud. Like, you know. The, the Jew from New York. You brought from New York to Chicago. So well, I'm a Jew from New York. Well, you're a Jew. Oh, my. I mean, he was pushy. Yeah, I know, I know. I so know. I, I, don't have I was to be a Jew to do that. Shanta yeah. 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 <laughs> So he, he, unfortunately, he got, he got to the point where he can't handle it. And then we took on we took on the family's family. That came on later. That's, a, that's, that's another a aspect of this. That came on, I don't know who's. I think Lester was wild, but he was. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Just, rem just remember the guys, family to family couldn't exist without us because we do some of the shopping for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They provide the food, the that's, eggs. That's the it, that's right. I, that's a good project. Yeah. I enjoy going there. Yeah. Well, that's because because there's a sociability that goes on making the breakfast. No, you actually see people. Right, right, right. Now, if you remember your nature, your natures of the, the various levels and natures of charity. The highest level of charity is the anonymous charity, where you don't know who well, it's going to, and they don't know who. No, no, it's putting somebody to work. Oh, yeah. Okay. It, it's the highest. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You go down to that family to family with the charity. They, they all shy. They leave the room. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> on a lamb. Well, <laughs> I enjoy family, family because I'm doing something that I like. I'm working as a short order cook there, and I enjoy doing that. We have a lot of good cooks here. It's one cook. You're a cook. Well, I, I, on Sunday, my Sundays are taking Ronnie, over my family. Bank, I, 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 it. I saw Randy Bank the other day. No kidding. He's he's aged a lot now. He was a good cook. Okay. Ronald Bank. Yeah, he played like he played piano like. Uh, Levant, you know. Uh, Oscar Levant, sure. Yeah. Oh, I love he, Oscar Levant. Is he a concert pianist? No. Yeah. It's an application. I like to practice uh, 